power of sound to us? I guess it's how you can, maybe the power of sound is how you can make somebody feel by something you've written. Maybe if you can convey a certain type of emotion or make... No. No, sorry. That's the power of sound. Yeah. That's the power no. of volume. Um, <laughs> no, I think, that, yeah, if you can make you somebody... You have, a, as a musician, you have a goal with what you want to achieve with the sound you're making, and if that gets pulled off in the right way, then you achieve the power of your own individual sound. Yeah. It's, it's so broad to say power of sound because it's all individual to, to who's actually creating it. So our, well. our, our power of sound is to create this, our own music and be fresh and we like it and other people like it. And if that works, then thumbs up all around. I got a goose, goosebump music moment uh, when I actually was listening to, to Bonnie Bear and I was listening to his Blood Bank track. That one is, is it, I heard it quite a while back as well and now it's been absolutely reamed everywhere, everyone listens to it. When I first heard it, I got it off my brother and it just sounded, all that auto-tune actually made sense. So that's one, and then Biggie Smalls or something like that. <laughs> I would go for Biggie Smalls. Juicy, that's, a, that's a, a big moment for me, definitely. My iTunes at the moment, it's, because I recently refreshed it, and so there's not much music on there. Basically, it's just Zappa's catalogue, <laughs> which is about 90 albums, and then also Jay Diller's back catalogue. So I've got, half of it is filled with crazy, eccentric prog rock from the 70s, and the other half is filled with fantastic instrumental hip-hop beats. There we have it, that's my musical life. <laughs>